Hey guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Will and today I'm doing a review and demo of TweetBot. Now this is of course run and developed by TapBots and it costs £5 in the Apple Mac store. Now this is a great application for those Twitter users that like to use Twitter and if you'd like to step away from the official application then this is a great start. But for me, I'm sort of leaning towards the official app because this app has fallen behind in the updates of what Twitter are doing and I'll go through that in a minute. Now this is your profile as you can see at Real Tech Brunch and this is your profile as you can see we've got tweets, followers, following and listed. Now this is what you can see when you of course log in um, and of course here you have settings you can look in Favestar and also open in Google Chrome or your um, default browser and of course in here you can edit the avatar, name, location, URL and bio. Now that is, that is of course the uh, profile of you and up here you do have your timeline as you can see here I can scroll through all of my people that we follow and of course you have your mentions so if people mention you in the tweet then you can see it in here and then you can public re publicly reply or you can DM them. Uh, messages of course which are direct messages now this is of course if people message you directly and of course you can see activity of what people are doing like retweet and also following you here you can search so you can search people like like so you can have tweets from William Hawks 92 user William Hawks 92 or go to user at William Hawks 92 now if I click on that it would direct me to my official Twitter page as you can see here I can basically scroll right to the top and I can actually look at the header of that Twitter page and of course I can size this as, as wide or as uh, narrow as I like and of course I can follow the user and also I can click on the header which I didn't mean to do but you can also click on the cogwheel uh, manage in list memberships view in Favstar disable retweets enable uh, notifications so you can enable notifications for when this person tweets uh, you can mute and also open in the Google Chrome but then again it's your default browser so clicking out of the search Twitter you go into your favorites so if you like something it'll come up under here and you can go back into it later on and of course we'll be through the profile here you can have the list so you can add certain things which I haven't really gone into myself and also you have mute filters now this is really cool you can mute people keywords hashtags and clients so you can if you don't like profanity you can basically mute that like so and you won't see no profanity in your Twitter which is great um, and of course you can add multiple accounts so if you click on the, the, the avatar here it will bring down a list of uh, connected accounts so I can go into my account like so and now I can look at my Twitter as you can see here now if I go on to this bottom icon here I can open a new window or open a new column now open a new column obviously opens up a new timeline column which obviously if I close this and I go and say tech brunch and I go into timeline sorry if I go into open a new column and I go back into my profile I have now got two Twitter profiles open in one screen so I've got my uh, William Hawks 92 and real tech brunch on this side here and of course that is very handy if you have multiple Twitter accounts but I don't really do that too much to honest you because it, it just collides the, the screen to this year and I never really found um, the reason why I should do it. Okay, so the reason why I say this is falling behind from the official Twitter app, if I find the Twitter app uh, and you click on the new, um, you know, a new tweet, you can see down here, then this is on the official Twitter app, you have location obviously, you have face obviously, you have the camera and you have a GIF and you have a poll. Now this is what we don't have in Tweetbot. Tweetbot is falling behind a lot. All you have on Tweetbot is the location and settings, add image, add video, charts and topics. And that's about it. You don't get anything else which is really annoying because I really like using Twitter and I love using Tapbot's Tweetbot but not having the features that I would normally have in Twitter really frustrates me because you know having GIFs and also having 
polls are really great um, but if it doesn't have it on here then it's really useless to me anyway um, I do like using this app and I do like adding tweets but I would like to have a new update where you can have GIFs and have polls integrated with this um, whether it's because they're limited to what they can do or if they don't want to do it I don't know what excuse me sorry about that um, I don't know I'd like to see it in the next update if they can brilliant if they can't then fair enough um, but yeah that's basically it guys this is a £5 app from Tapbots the link is down below in the description I really highly like it it's very good it's very clean very minimal it's very easy to use only dislike is that you don't get what you have in the official app which is the gifts and polls and whatever else you would get normally in Twitter but still this is a great app very powerful and very easy to use highly recommend it if you're a Twitter user anyway guys thank you very much for watching the video I hope you enjoyed I'll see you all in my next video